This short video will look at KiwiSaver contribution options to help you grow your savings. KiwiSaver is a great way to save towards your first home or retirement. The contribution options you choose can make a big difference to your KiwiSaver balance over time. Contributions to your KiwiSaver account can come from you, your employer and the government. Firstly, let's look at the contributions that come from you. If you're working, you can contribute 3%, 4%, 6%, 8% or 10% of your before-tax salary or wages. For example, on a salary of $1,000 per week before tax, 3% would mean you're contributing $30 a week to your KiwiSaver account. You can choose any rate and you can change it at any time. You can also stop contributing for up to one year and you can restart at any time during that year. If you change jobs, it's important to tell your employer you have a KiwiSaver account and this way your contributions can continue uninterrupted. You can also make voluntary contributions whenever you like, if you're self-employed or you've simply managed to save a little more money this month. Online banking is the easiest way to do this. Search for Mercer KiwiSaver Scheme as a new payee or company you want to pay and follow your bank's instructions to complete the payment. You can also set up regular automatic payments via direct debit. Now let's have a look at the employer contribution. Providing you're contributing at least 3% from your pay, your employer has to match your contribution by at least 3%. Some employers contribute more, so it pays to talk to your employer. Finally, Let's look at how the government can contribute to your KiwiSaver account. The government may contribute up to $521 once a year into your KiwiSaver account. You will be eligible if you're aged between 18 and 65, are a New Zealand resident or a citizen, and are living in New Zealand and are contributing to your KiwiSaver account. But there are a few exceptions, so it is important you understand all the criteria. To receive this maximum amount, you need to contribute $1,042 to your account. If you can't contribute as much, remember that every contribution counts. For example, if you contribute $10 between 1 July and 30 June each year, the government will contribute $5. If you miss out on your government contribution in one year, you cannot claim it later. To see how different contribution amounts and investment options may impact your future savings, we encourage you to visit our Retirement Income Simulator online. Whether you're saving for your first home or retirement, remember to always seek financial advice when making investment decisions. If you have any questions, Mercer's financial advice team is here to help. Simply call us and we can put you in touch with one of the team. Learn more about how Mercer can help you get ahead. Signing up takes less than five minutes. Talk to Mercer today.